Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Mae Larson here and I want to wish every single mother out in the universe, the entire universe, a happy, wonderful, blessed Mother's Day. I hope that you guys um, get spoiled. I hope you guys have a magnificent day and that you're able to celebrate that with your loved ones. I know it's a very difficult time for a lot of us with the coronavirus, but I surely hope that you're able to spend your Mother's Day with those that matters most, which is your family and your loved ones. So with that being said, have a happy, wonderful Mother's Day. Now, the other night we started to work on our Tim Holtz Fabric album. And we didn't get too far because I had some family emergencies here that I had to deal with. So um, I want to be able to come back in and start working a little bit with you guys and chit chat with you guys um, as I create um, some of the pages here. And hopefully it'll inspire you to create one similar. Now I was totally inspired by the beautiful journal that Shabby Soul um, had created using the Tim Holtz fabric album. Like I said, we're going to get this listed in our shop by Tuesday night um, at the latest. And um, I will let you guys know in the group once it's all up and listed. But I want to share with you guys um, the next couple pages. So this is the page that we left off in and we were going to work on the next following page. And I got some beautiful laces from Elfs, and um, I'll try to get her link to her shop. But this is a beautiful vintage lace that I got from her. So I thought once we decorate this one here, which is the pocket that we double stitch, uh, for those of you guys who didn't see, I had stitched several of the pages because there was like too many. You guys know after five pages, bam, May lost attention, right? So I ended up stitching some of the pages double so that I can make pockets and not have to do that many pages because after five pages, I'm done. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to worry about it. So, so here's what we did. We put a zipper, a vintage little zipper that I picked up from the Austin Creative Resale Shop. Gosh, I really miss that store. Can't wait till it reopens. Um, some of the threads, I took it that I cut and snipped and added it at the bottom. These are some of the Tim Holtz little um, uh, ephemeras that will be available in the store. This is from the field notes. We have the field notes, the urban, and I'll make sure that I put the ones that I use below so that you guys can uh, check them out. And of course the fabric um, journal. This is the um, optical lens and some buttons from my stash. Again, this is from the Tim Holtz little collection. And then this little pocket here are actually these little new envelopes that we have available in the shop that I decorated and with some of the ephemeras from Tim Holtz and buttons and other goodies that I had in my personal stash. I made a little um, just snippets and scraps. You know, that's why we never toss these aside because they're so wonderful for little things like that. And I love little chunky things like that so we doubled this pocket and there we go it goes just like that right in there and then over here again here's some of the goodies the field notes and um, this is a little card again from the field notes collection from Tim Holtz and the urban collection kind of went really well and of course, this is some of the new GIMP that we have in the shop. This is the olive color, and it's a half inch um, GIMP. And this here is from Amy um, Dark Sanctuary. She's on Etsy. I will also link, try to get her linked in below. Some of the um, bulb pins, I put scraps of laces and buttons and attached it there, a vintage little lace and trim I had in my personal stash and then let's tuck that in there like that and here's a pocket again this um, these are individual I mean it came out with a lot of individual pages so I just kind of stitched the smaller one and I made a little pocket for the side here 
And then on the side, we have these little cards that were in the Tim Holtz um, Urban and the Field Notes collection. And we kind of tuck those in like so. And now we have to decorate that one. Here's two more pages. And here's a pocket again. This is a similar concept that I did. I stitched it down here, here, and in the center on this one. This one I didn't do a center. Um, baby girl, can you bring me some coffee if you don't mind? Thank you. And I stitched it down the side so that way what we can do is we can put um, either these, maybe these in here if they fit, right? Right, right, right. We don't put it too chunky. It might not fit on that one because I think I have that zigzag stitch. Or some even, like it'll fit on this one, but see the zigzag kind of didn't let that in. We can put that in there. Another tag from the collection. And we have these tickets that are going to be in listed in the shop. Um, so we can put all those little nice things there. And then over here, again, I took two pages, stitched it down here in shape of a backwards L. And this is the back page. And I left the top open so we can do the same concept as the front. That way I'm not doing too many pages because gosh knows, you know, I, I lose attention after five pages. So we have right now here on my desk was some scraps of leftover stuff. Um, and we're just going to play around with some of this, make pockets here and there. Use, um, use your scraps, guys. That is the best thing that you can possibly do um, when you're creating these kind of projects. And it kind of also allows us to have a whole basket of yummies. Allows us to see, um, utilize them to the best of our abilities. And like that. I don't normally, um, like I've told you guys before, and I apologize in advance. You guys are probably hearing a sound from my computer. But I've been not being able to do a lot of video recording because we got an iPad. We couldn't figure it out. And I still can't figure it out. But, um, you know, I, I'm not tech savvy. And I need to figure out how to work. Um, now, some of you guys got some of this the other day from me, and I thought we can probably um, put some there, like so. It's a really pretty linen, linen, and then maybe, yes, maybe, we can tuck that in. I want some of that in, and it's a cute little combo, right? Um... Maybe we can leave that one out for something else. I could probably put one of these uh, new gimps that we have and maybe make that into a cute little pocket, perhaps, so that it's tucked under another little pocket, you know? So a pocket within a pocket, right? Maybe we can do it this way, right? Use your brains, baby. Use your brains. And then that can go there. And if I stitched it on my sewing machine, I can get a nice little jagged or crinkled look. look and I think I might do that. So, again, use your um, scraps. They're, those scraps are just so wonderful. And it gives it a really nice, cute, maybe go with this, something like this. love yeah 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 yeah. I like that and then once I gather this with this machine I can you know kind of give it a little y'all know I'm not a frou-frou kind of girl but I do like my my stuff to look kind of yeah you know all right so we'll probably do that and that way we have a pocket on that one and then we can probably lay that down. So let's go ahead and pull out that wonderful little thing called a sewing machine. And 
work with the magical sewing machine. I, I leave the little scraps again. Like I said, I don't throw, this is, this is, I've made, this, this was an old curtain coffee dye that I've made so many projects in, um, with this and I don't throw any of that stuff away. It is just great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Chunky little snippets. Okay, let's bring the wonderful little sewing machine. Hopefully she will behave. She will be kind to us because we can't. I mean, you guys just see the top of my sewing machine. But this is one of those machines that just does not like me, guys. It doesn't like me. It doesn't like me. Um... I'm just going to kind of gather and I like the little leftover um, pieces of thread because again it gives character so so we just kind of gathered that up. My wonderful daughter just brought me some cafe, cafe. Yes, Good night, baby girl. It's actually like three in the morning, guys, here in Texas. Yes. You gotta come closer. So the CEO of Crafting on a Budget would like to say to you, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Or if you didn't know anybody, I'm sure you do. Yeah, there you go. So that was from Carla. Yes, it's 3 in the morning. Um, Could not sleep. So here I am crafting with you guys and chatting. Of course, she's a night owl as well. So um, she was up chit-chatting with me. Um, talking about life. You know, kids always have their dilemmas and things going on in their lives. So, we were up. Alright. Fabric tack. We're going to go ahead and put some of that down. And the thing about the fabric tack, I always hear people say that, I'm going to go ahead and put more down, that it kind of gets gummy. What you want to do if it gets gummy is, first of all, always make sure you put your cap on as soon as you use it. Um, reason being is that um, it starts to seep out and you want to prevent that. So how do you prevent it is putting your cap on immediately as soon as you finish using it. Um, so cap makes it a lot easier. I'm going to head right onto the fabric. And typically, you guys see me using my glue gun. Um, I do love my glue gun. Um, but I, at this moment, want to just use my fabric tack. Okay. So we got that. And then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. And this is the new quarter inch tan gamp that's available in the shop. And um, we're going to apply that. I think I have it in the right way. I'm not sure if I don't. Mm. It would be a guess, I guess. I don't know, guys. I have a bug. Too early for flies. About the only thing that I don't like about summer. I love seeing the green. It kind of gives me life. I feel like I, I get energized. I don't know about you guys, but I do get energized when I see um, green grass and trees. And it kind of reminds me of, um, you know, your childhood when you hear the lawnmowers going off. And um, I just love it. I just do. Love, 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 love. Summer, spring. My favorite season. That and fall. Love fall. So, let me just snip this off. And I just kind of put that on there because I don't want it to unravel. So, yeah, like I was saying, you always want to make sure to keep it from getting gummy. 
just put the cap on after each little use and that will help it a little keeping it from getting gummy and if it starts to get to where it's like really thick just put some acetone because it is an acetone base and I, I like this um, fabric tat because it's great for paper it dries up pretty darn fast on paper um, I should get my little silicone mat I'll, yep. um, so I'm not banging on my desk Haven't done any lives. I'm hoping that I can figure out this iPad situation so I can give you guys better videos recorded. I do like to do the recorded because it's just like I feel like I'm just sitting there having my coffee, talking to you guys, crafting. And it gives me um, that, that ability to craft with you guys in just the comfort of my quiet little space here. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to snip it off right here at the edge, which I did not do a good job of getting me down here. Let's just get down here, maybe. Okay. Snip it off. I didn't snip. See how that one's kind of like off to the side. Off to the side. Sip of my coffee. Mm. Coffee just does a wonderful thing for us. Okay. So. So. I'm just going to Cover this side now. I should get my little fingered bobbies because that or my little makeup silicone brushes. That's all they are, guys. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree for real. Very cheap and affordable. And I'm going to go ahead and put some down here. Don't need too many fancy little tools. Just a little goes a long way. There we go. That way we have another little pocket on that side. Since we are, let's see. What I do, if you guys get gummies on your hands with the fabric tack, take your rubber eraser and just kind of, you know, do that. It works great. Sometimes you get those sort of gummies that are like annoying. All right, so then we gathered this one, and you guys got this one on one of my little um, D stash, fun D stash nights. And we could probably add this. This is from the uh, Stitch Scraps from Tim Holtz, and it's going to be available in the store on um, no way, but I mean Tuesday night. I, I promise you guys. I'll put that there, so that way you can put a little note there. I like to just build. I like to build, build, build. Before I put anything down, I just want to build. Um, build. Build, build, build. No, I don't like that one. Alright, so I do like the concept of having the stitch because I could put a little memo there. So we're going to go ahead and apply some of that down. And I like these little stitch concept from Tim Holtz. Um, that there. Let's use, let's use, save our fingers, use the spatula, May. Use the spatula. And then we're going to put some of this. Again, I want to move some of these little Um, 
red pieces. Get my thinking process out, guys. It's like, what did you say, Moon? What did you say? Look up so I can see, make sure I am actually on target. Let me know if I'm spoiling anything. Sorry, guys. All right. Getting a message on Facebook, and you guys can hear that. All right. Like that. And so then we have a little pocket here. Okay. We can tuck something in there, something minute. And then we have these um, little field notes from Tim Pulse from the field notes collection. I use, of course, you guys know my favorite ink, which is the vintage photos. And I've already stitched around these. What I did not do is I did not um, distress it with my Tim Holtz vintage photos. So I'm going to put that there and tuck those. And again, I can trim some of these and leave, save these little scraps because that's what I did for the front. I gathered these little tidbits, pieces that I had. And we can tuck that in there like so. I have another one here. And then these are like perfect. Again, snip, snip, save, save. And I stitched it. And... I just tuck some of those in there. They don't have to be like super, super, uber, duper fancy, you know. Just put them in there because you can pull them out. And um, let's see, we can, if you want, if you want, um, we can put, you know, that in there. Oh, that'd be pretty. What do you guys think? I like that. I like that idea. So what I could do is I can run that through my sewing machine and gather it and sew it on. I've had so, I have, I've used that trim so long. I think that's 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 the last bit that I have on that trim. Don't know how long I've had it, but I've had it for a while because it's from a shirt um, that I had. And I kind of cut up the shirt because it was um, issues with ants liking my shirt. I don't know why. They, they kind of seem to like to go through my shirt and make holes. So, so what I did, I just kind of grabbed it and said, let's cut it up. And let's get that lace. Okay, so what I can do, now that I've done that, and I got some of those little long pieces of thread, I'll save all those little pieces of thread. It doesn't have to be so fancy. Just something, you know. Put that in there. Put that one in there. And then we have all these little nice um, junk drawers. And these are really nice, thick chipboard pieces. And we can use um, that there. Um, let's see. There's the number 15.
しなパッケージの。See that, but I'm sure we will try to show you a little bit.、Um, make sure to be centered. I don't just glue down my pocket, right? Do all my little hard work there. Clean my fingers because I get that.、Um, it's a fabric tack gummy on my fingers. Okay. So there's that.、Um, tuck that in there just like so. And then just tuck this one. In there as well. That way, you have lots of little mementos to write. Okay. Let's trim this off. Just that in piece. My little recycled section. Let's get you to be situated. We'll be playing with our emotions here.
back to that page. Okay, we're on to page numero, I think, four, cuatro. Page numero cuatro. It, that's a good thing about the um, Fabri-Tac is that you can use your rubber eraser if you get any of little, maybe we might need to move you here because you're kind of running into that dude now. Alright, for this page we're going to use the beautiful lace from um, Els. Beautiful. We'll probably use some of these. These are from um, Finnebar, and they're in the store. So let's see what a beautiful image we can put on here. So I'm going to call his horse. Let's see if it's cold. I like this one. They're stickers, so you can back it up with something. So we're going to back it up into this piece here that is from um, Amy and Two Stark Wood Sanctuary. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there like so. And use my metal ruler. I did not. Perfection is always better. At least I think so. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna run it probably through my sewing machine as well. Let's run it through my sewing machine, though. And we might run this as well. So we can do a pocket on the opposite side as well here and have something to tuck in. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that. 